What's up, folks? This is your man, Derek, on the next Escape Tricks. We talk about passport bro etiquette overseas, what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing on the next Escape Tricks. You can't make this shit up, people. You cannot make this shit up. What's up? This is your man, Derek Bailey. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell as well if you're not a part of this channel yet so you'll know what's going on. It also helps us with the algorithm here on the Escape Tricks. Well, of course, I'm back from my trip to Thailand and I had a wonderful time. Met some great people. Had a lot of fun and stayed out of trouble. That's exactly what I did. It was a couple ladies saying I was gonna get stuck like my man in DR. Uh, not, not likely, not likely, ladies. Not likely, I know what I'm doing, right? With, with age comes kind of wisdom. With wisdom comes knowledge as well. You kind of know how to move and how not to move. What I've been seeing of lately with us passport bros, and I'll never ever uh, waver at being a passport bro, is some of you homeboys straight up don't know how to act. Y'all show that y'all been raised by single mothers in single houses, right? You, you're doing way too much. One of my mans over at uh, TikTok has been talking about that, and he's putting a video out about that as well, distressed with what he sees. Well, look, man, people are going to do what they do. Hopefully, some people might actually listen. Some people won't. If they don't, damn it. If they get locked up or whatever, that's on them. It's real easy to stay out of trouble in these countries. It's real easy not to not to get in trouble in these countries. It's real easy not to piss off the natives. So I'm gonna just go over what I've done and what you should do. It's easy. We're gonna call it Passport Bro Rules, right? Let's start off. Number one, research the country that you are going to. If you're going to one of these countries, you need to know about their customs, their tradition, their cultures. You want to show respect to all these things when you get there because the last thing you want is to have a misunderstanding with people. That's kind of how people are going to get in your ass in other countries when there is a lack of respect for their culture and their traditions. You cannot go to other people's countries and act like their shit doesn't matter. They'll show you real quick that in their country, it does matter. You gotta know how to act accordingly. If you don't, there's gonna be a lot of bad things happening to a lot of bros out here. I'm not just talking black passport bros, I'm talking bros period. Like I said before, while I was on my trip, I saw a lot of people that were non-black doing some things that they shouldn't be doing grabbing people's menus and throwing them and all this kind of stuff. You do not want to be that kind of person running up on spirit houses and moving sodas in it. You don't want to know this. You, 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 you don't want to do that. That's going to end up really, really bad for you. So you need to learn and research people's customs, cultures, and traditions. Okay? Number two, easy. Your mother and your daddy probably taught you this. And that is to use etiquette. If you do not know what etiquette is, it's just common politeness politeness, and decency when you talk to people. If somebody smiles at you, you probably want to smile back. If they're being nice to you, you probably want to be nice back. Even when they're not being that nice to you, you probably still want to be nice and leave that area. The last thing you want to do is to get in any type of a fisticuffs with any natives. And the way to usually stay out of those problems are by being polite, by being courteous to people. These are easy things that anyone could actually learn. Learn some etiquette. I call it passport bro etiquette, okay? Learn simple words when you go to these countries, before you go to these countries. Learn how to say hello. Learn how to say thank you. These things count with people when you go to other countries because they say that you put in an effort to 
at least kind of communicate with them on their cultural level, on their at least language level when you does that. It shows uh, amount of time and effort that you put into things when you do this, when you go to other countries. Learn simple words. You don't have to learn the whole language. But learning how to say yes, learning how to say no, learning how to say hello goes a long way when you go to other countries, right? The next thing I'm going to say, you have to leave that Western entitled mindset behind, right? If you're a passport bro, if you're not a passport bro, whoever you are, if you are in a Western country, you have to leave that at home. Because once again, I'll tell you like this, no one gives two shits that you are from America, Canada, Great Britain, or any of these other places. They can give less than two you-know-whats that you are from these places. You bring that over there, once again, we're going to talk about getting into it with the natives. You might find it very, very daunting to fight off 12 to 20 dudes chasing you down the street because, once again, you don't know what the hell you're doing or that you're being highly rude, okay? Leave that Western mindset alone. These other countries, those, these are not entitled people and they do not, I repeat, they do not like entitled people from the West. A lot of people from the West already have a bad name for going to these countries and when they hear USA or anywhere else like that, a lot of these people in these other countries say, oh boy, here we go with one of these guys. Let's get ready to get the brass knuckles out and take some of these chicklets out his mouth, right? They don't mind brawling. If you ain't a brawler, you better make sure that you know how to act accordingly. And even if you're a brawler, you might come back with one eye hanging out, right? The next rule, follow the laws. Follow the laws better than the people there follow the laws, okay? Don't go, don't do the, don't do the uh, Leangelo ball and go to China and, and steal stuff and, and think that you're just going to get a slap on the wrist. You get thrown in jail forever in these countries, especially Asian countries. They don't play. They'll lock your ass up for a millennia, right? So you follow the laws as well, right? Do not take that lightly when you're in these other countries, Find out what you should be doing and what you shouldn't be doing. And you do it. You do it or you're going to pay for it big time. Follow the laws, all right? Next, you want to show, and I'm just going to say this to people out here that do do what I do, videotaping. I made about 10, 12 videos when I was gone. Probably would have made more. This is to people that's on YouTube and videos everywhere else. Show compassion and understanding that some people do not want to be on camera, right? And if they do not want to be on camera and they don't like being on camera, please don't put them on camera. Turn the camera off, go somewhere else, do some videos somewhere else. Some of these people don't want their faces on camera for various reasons. And you need to have some compassion, some understanding for that that you probably wouldn't want your video, your face on videos all damn day either, if you, if, especially if you're not getting paid for it, right? So you have to understand that as well. Everyone does not want their face on camera. One of the last things, keep your personal matters between you and that person, whoever it is. Now, I'm telling people, look, grown men and women can do whatever the hell they want to, and that's fine, right? For me, I don't care, whatever, right? But what you don't need to be doing if you're a passport bro, especially a YouTuber at all, social media is displaying every damn uh, personal uh, interaction between you and these people. This person and that person and this person, it makes you look bad and it makes other passport bros look bad. I know a lot of people out there that don't really give a shit about what other people are doing. But that's a good way to also get in about a fist of cups with other passport bros or whoever else. Because I'm telling you, that day's probably going to come from what I'm seeing. Young homies, even the older homies, man. Look, watch your step when you're out here in these countries, man. Watch what you say and you do. Have fun. Make your videos. 
or, or whatever else. You got a you got a friend or girlfriend. Fine, she she can be in it, right? But have some decorum about what you're putting on display for people to see because we got the other detractors that are always watching as well, and they're ready to say, "See, I told you so." But like I said before, some of you guys out there, y'all raised by single moms, and it's been showing in in these different places. Don't embarrass all the black bros. Don't embarrass all the passport bros, period. Because there's, there's white passport bros, there's Asian passport bros, there's Latino passport bros, and they don't want you fucking it up for them either, right? So look back at these rules if you need to and schedule them out. And anybody who's watching this, please like and share this to other people, all right? So they can look as well and be like, hey, this man's trying to spit some facts. Because what I'm trying to do is keep some of you fools out of trouble, right? Some of y'all, I don't know y'all personally at all. But some of y'all, what we used to say back in the day, cruising for a fucking bruising. And you're going to get bust in the mouth if you keep doing what you're doing, man. Listen, y'all need to get it together with this. You can go and visit all these countries and do all this wonderful stuff and have fun. And it doesn't have to be this ha ha, look what I'm doing all the damn time, right? Don't do that. Have fun, go out there, live your life, and show your story. One of the perfect people and examples of that is, I will say this again, World of Oni. If you have not been to his channel, I saw him go from 700 to 50,000 subscribers i believe 25 50 something like that positivity the power of positivity in his channel and kudos to him in thailand dude i wish i could have at least picked up another 2000 with what you did you did a great job man and you're doing a great job as well you guys go check out world of oni's channel if you have not as well there's plenty of great uh new youtubers out here doing their thing as well i'm gonna do my thing here in the matrix I'll be back in one of my spots that I love very much, Thailand. I'm also coming out there to the Philippines. Joanne, I'm coming. I'm going to go see you, girl. I'm going to come see you. And uh, all the other people, uh, uh, Phil uh, Lady Filipina, all, all the Filipina Lady, Ray Beauty. I, I love all y'all girls. I love y'all everywhere, man. Big shout out to y'all. Big shout out to all the people out there, wherever you are. Asian countries, Latin countries, African countries, wherever. Listen, if you like what I'm doing, Go ahead, like I said, like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. And don't forget, if you would like some merch, go over to my Etsy as well. We're going to have some new shirts coming out as well. I'm going to have some delegation shirts. We, we'll see that with the delegation and see if you guys like that as well. I think you guys like that. We're going to have black man delegation, uh, white guy delegation, Asian bro delegation. We, we're coming out with all type of stuff, man. We're going to have fun here as well. If you have anything that you guys want me to talk, out, talk about, hit me. On my email, that's uh, that's um, uh, escapetrix911 at gmail.com. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for coming to this channel. We'll see you on the next Escapetrix. And keep your asses out of trouble. I'll holla at you.